Hi, this is Corrine for Cut at Home, and today we are making little note cards or greeting cards using a journaling pocket. And I will have all the design numbers from the online silhouette store on Cut at Home's blog, so check out the description box for a link to their blog along with all the products that I use today. So here's the journaling card, and here I wrote it down, it's design number 40187, and I cut it to six inches tall by eight inches wide. And again, this is from the Silhouette Online Store, and I'm using Angel Craft Tape. They sell it in one quarter inch and also one half inch, and this is great tape. It's acid free and it's also heat resistant. So that's what I'll be using it for today is to heat emboss some embossing powder. So the first thing I'm doing is using my Tim Holtz ruler and I'm using my mat underneath me as a guide to line that up so I make sure that I get it straight. And now I'm using my ruler to mark off every five eighths of an inch. And I'm just using a pencil to mark that. And here I'm just showing you I use the five eighths of an inch mark on my ruler. And now I am using that line as my guide to place my tape down. This would also look great if you variated the one quarter inch tape along with the one half inch tape as well. So I'm really trying hard to make sure that I'm getting it straight and I'm going off the edge of my page just so I can make sure that the tape goes from one end to the other. and then I will cut off any excess tape that hangs over the edge. I'm using a 110 pound cardstock for this, and now I'm using my bone folder to really press that tape down. I wanna make sure that it's adhered very well. So here I'm just cutting off the excess. and it helps to have non-stick scissors if you can. I'm using a powder tool to just eliminate a little bit of the static or, or reduce the static. And now I'm just taking off that backing tape. I will go ahead and add my embossing powder. You can use any type of embossing powder. This here is a thick gold embossing powder. And now with my fingers, I'm just really pressing that into the tape. You can do this with glitter as well, and you wanna do the same thing. You wanna kind of burnish it into that tape. So just tap off any of the excess, put the rest back in your bottle. It really uses very little embossing powder or glitter, whatever you're using. Now with a paintbrush, I'm just taking, it's a soft brush, I'm just trying to take away any excess embossing powder that's on there. And I'm using a heat resistant mat underneath and I've heated my gun up very well before I started this process. You wanna make sure it's good and hot before you take it to your paper. It will help to reduce warping. So as you can see, that is so pretty. It heats up so well. And you do wanna make sure that it completely cools before you mess with it. It does take a few minutes to cool down. But as you can see, that gives it such a pretty look. And you could do this diagonally, horizontally, like I did, or vertically if you wanted to. So here I'm just quickly showing you again, I'm doing the exact same thing with a pearl luster sapphire embossing powder. It's really pretty, it's by Stampendous. And again, just really burnishing that down. And lastly, making sure my gun is very hot before starting to melt it. So I did two of these in gold, one in a silver, it's more of a pewter color, and then that blue. And now I'm just folding it on the score marks that the Cameo already put in there. And I'm using some quick dry glue at the bottom, but I, I wanted some hot glue on the side that will adhere it very well together. It will not come apart this way by doing that. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on all three. I 
I wanted to make a birthday card for a friend, so this is what gave me the idea. I just love the stripes on it. So now I'm using some pattern paper that I had and my Sizzix cutting pads. Those are the um, mint color. And I'm using a new die for me. It's Kaiser Craft Birds and Cages. I absolutely love this die. And if you're not familiar with the Kaiser Craft, they come with a magnetic sheet in the back which holds the dies in place. Again, this is the birds and cages. I'll have the product codes in the description box. There's the magnetic pieces. As you can see, they will not fall off this. So I'm first cutting it out with my pattern paper and I wanted it to, um, I wanted to use specific parts of the pattern paper. I'm using the Vintage Chic from Heidi Swap. So I'm taping it down in the spots that I want it to be on the die. And I'm running that through my Sizzix Big Shot. It cuts out perfectly. And then I decided which I will show you here in a minute, to use some lightweight chipboard and back it with the lightweight chipboard just to give it a little bit more dimension and stability on the front of my card. I'm just using my paper piercer to poke on those release pieces in the back and that just helps to release your die from, or your paper from the die. Here's the lightweight chipboard, and again, that cut through perfectly. I just did um, run it through a couple of times. And you wanna take your time taking your die out, that way you don't rip it. So now I'm using some Scotch Quick Dry, and I'm adding the glue to the back of the chipboard because it's um, it's a little bit easier to hold. And then I'm pressing it in between the paper. So if any glue squeezes out, it squeezes out onto the paper. So now I will add my bird cage to the front of my card. Again, um, adding the Scotch Quick Dry, wiping it off on some paper to get rid of any excess glue, and then just placing an acrylic block on it to hold it for, for a few minutes until it dries. And now just simply decorating it, I'm adding a couple flowers and some leaves that I also cut out from the Cameo. Again, all the design um, numbers will be in uh, Cut at Home's blog if you'd like to check that out. I'm twisting up some twine that I had and just hot gluing that in place. These were really fun to put together, very simple. and my leaves were cut out with a pattern paper. This die, if you saw, comes with two different birds. And this here is the word, hello. So I'm just adding my glue to the back and then I like to wipe it off on some scratch paper to get rid of the excess glue. And then just press that down. I'm adding a tiny pearl to the top of that bird cage. And here I have the new Avery L die. I love these dies. This one is simply said love. It has several sentiments on it. And there is a journaling card that I cut out. That will be the spot for where I write my sentiment and stamp my sentiment. So this is the first time I'm using these stamps. So I like to stamp it off at least once and before putting it on my project. And it stamps so beautifully. It says, sending you love. You can mix match different words to get the sentiment that you want. And now I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe it off. And then that just slips into the top. I can write my greeting on there as well. I'm quickly putting another one together. As you can see, I'm using some more of the leaves and flowers. I thought they looked beautiful on there. Here are a few stamens that I am hot gluing 
in there, tucking at them in the flowers. And then this word says blissful. Again, I cut that out with the Cameo. I will add my glue, tap it off onto the paper to get rid of any excess glue, and then press that down in place. So now here is the Avery L to the point stamp set. I love this. This is the first time I'm using this as well. I'm adding the banner shapes to the top there, and I'm going to stamp them out first just on the same white cardstock that matches that journaling pocket. Again, I'm stamping them several times since it's a brand new stamp, and then I, I'm just going to choose the one that looks the best to me to cut out. I do add a sentiment um, to one of those as well. You'll see here in just a moment, which fits perfectly in, into that banner. I'm using some VersaFine black ink. And it says hello there. So now I'm just simply trimming these out. I believe these these come with dies as well, which would make it very simple. Again, adding a little bit of twine and a flower. And I'm just using some hot glue to adhere those down. For my journaling card on the inside, I wanted it to somewhat match. So I'm going to use the banner shape as well. This is a solid shape. So I, I did that one in black. And now I'm doing the outline of it using some color box ink. And that's the solid stamp. And then I will use the outline stamp in VersaFine Black to go over that and add a small sentiment to that as well. And then I will cut that out, adhere that to the inside of my card. And as you can see, these are super cute cards. And I will be sending one in the mail. I will just use a little bit larger envelope and an extra stamp since it is bulky. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. All the information and product codes will be there along with lots of inspiration. Thanks so much for watching.